Hey everyone, this is Anthony from Pretty Print It. A short video today. In this video, I want to show you how to use multiple versions of Python on Windows. So I have Python 2.7 installed and I also have 3.4. And I need to go back and forth between those. So a good way to do that is using the two techniques that I'm going to show you in a moment. But I have to note that when you install the Python 3 version, make sure you install the Python launcher with it. Um, the Python launcher will give you the ability to launch either the version 3 that you installed or some other version. So you can have multiple versions of 3, like 3.4 and 3.5, or you can have 3.4 and 2.7 or whatever combination you want, but it helps to have the launcher. So make sure you tick that option when you install one of the Python 3 versions. So now I want to show you two ways to uh, go back and forth between the Python versions. So typically when you use uh, the Python command, you get a default interpreter. So mine is 3.5.1 as the default interpreter. Let me exit this. But I also have Python 2.7 installed. So if I use the Python launcher instead, if I type py, py, I have 2.7.11 as the default for Python launcher. Now, if I want to call Python 3 again from the launcher, I use this dash 3, and it opens up Python 3.5.1 again. So Python, the command, leads me to 3.5.1. Py, the Python launcher, takes me to 2.7. If I do py dash 3, it takes me to Python 3.5. And if I do py dash 2, it takes me back to 2.7.1. Okay, so let me demonstrate that with a script. Um, it's going to be simple, something that will only work in Python 2. Hello world. And where's my command prompt? Uh, I'll just put it in C. Hello.py. Uh, won't let me. Okay. So. Uh, hello.py should be in there, so I'll do pi-2, hello.py, and I see hello world. But if I do pi-3 and I do hello, I should get an error because that syntax for print isn't supported in Python 3. And that's exactly what I get. So that's how you call whatever version of Python you want from the command line. Now if you want to call a specific version from the file instead, um, you use the Unix style shebang, so hash, bang, and then you specify what version of Python, so Python 2. I'll save that, and then I'll use the Python launcher again on it, this time with no flags, so pi, hello, and I get hello world. Now if I change this to Python 3, and I run this again, I get a syntax error, because it's reading this first line and determining which interpreter to use and then it interprets the rest of the code with that Python interpreter. So those are really the uh, best ways to use multiple versions of Python in Windows. Um, it comes in handy because there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been ported to Python 3 yet, so you still need Python 2. And um, this is a way for you to have both. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. But thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video.